Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing my May Itsy bag. First off, I want to start out by saying that I know that my lips and my shirt and my nails don't really match each other, but that's just because I am only doing this for the video and to review the products that I got in my bag, and I will not be wearing this lip color out <laughs> where I'm going today. So I am aware, but yeah, just let's just roll with it. Um, yeah, so onto the bag. It looks like this. It is a little waterproof see-through bag. It has ice cream cones and popsicles and it's just summer themed and I think this is really cute. It's, it's a lot different than what we've ever gotten in the past and I really like that. It's getting you in the summer theme. And it also came with this card that says your summer story starts here and has a little pineapple with flamingo sunglasses. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And then on the back it just says some cool things about summer, which, you know, I think we all need to get into that summer groove if you're just like getting out of school or getting out of university like I am. And like, you just, you just need to be pumped for summer, right? So onto the bag. So let's go on to the products. So the first thing that I want to mention is something that I have in a pan and I had to put in a Z palette. And that is the Urban Decay Highlighter in the shade Sin. It looks like this. I hope it catches the light right. But yeah, it looks like this. It is actually a really heavy product relative to its size. Because I feel like there's a lot of glitter in it. So if you don't like glitter, you're probably not going to like this. It just, it just kind of gives off a nice sheen as well. So wearing this on my cheeks and on my nose and like up, up below my brow bone so I, I like it I think that it's you know it's not really my favorite highlighter like I wasn't blown away by it but you know it was it was nice it was pretty average and I like the square pant actually I like really anything that you can pop into a magnetic palette so that's kind of cool all right the next thing is this K Voss macaroon lip balm looks like this so it's just a clear tinted lip balm it's very very hydrating very just moisturizing it kind of feels a little bit greasy but not really in a bad way it really absorbs into your lips which can be very hydrating so I like this um, I don't really like the packaging though when I want a clear lip balm I prefer something easy to put on something that is just a stick and it can just glide over but with this you either have to use your finger or you have to get a lip brush which I find the finger to be a little bit unsanitary to dip in this a lot so I use the lip brush and then for that I find it to be a little bit inefficient I would rather just smear some on from a stick so you know it's not bad but it's not really my favorite all right the next thing is this Briogeo Rose Car Carco Milk yeah uh, so it's a reparative leave-in conditioning spray like this is just a little bitty sample so I have used this already I love Prio Geo project products and it smells really good I like it uh, so you just put it into your damp hair you don't like rinse it out or anything just after your shower just spray it all through your hair and then let it dry so I mean my hair feels soft but I don't know if it feels softer than normal I mean I use hair masks so it's usually soft already so I mean, I don't see much of a difference, but I mean, maybe over time I will. There's not much in this sample. It's just, it's it's really about half full or half empty, however you see this. But yeah, so it's about half full. So, and it's already a really small sample. Like I have really small hands for comparison, but yeah, I don't know. I like it. I actually requested that one. Alright, the next thing is the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. Looks like this. So, I was really, really excited to get this because when I felt it, these are just so, 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 so soft. Like, I, I've had lots of Luxie brushes before, but I really like the density of this one in particular. So, it says that it's a foundation brush, and I didn't use it for that, I don't... I mean, I don't really like to use these kind of brushes for foundation, but I used it for powder to set my under eye and then also like sets of powder down my nose and on my chin. So it worked really well and I really liked the softness around my eye area because I don't like using really 
just harsh brushes around that delicate area. So I like this. It's actually my first Luxie brush that is not that pink rose gold color. It's a nice little purple blue. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. like it. Alright, and the last product is this Tristique? <laughs> Tristique? Yeah, I don't there's some weird phonetics going on here, but it is this lipstick and I'm wearing this today as you can see. So I wore this with the Smashbox Always Sharp lips, lip liner in the shade Crimson and they match flawlessly. Like they are the exact same color. So yeah, if you have that, then you might want to get this to just have the exact same color. So it looks like this. Okay, so this formula is so nice like it feels so rich and luxurious like it just completely covers your lips and like it just feels so good and buttery so nice and i love matte lipstick so i'm glad that that is the formula however i do have tons of this shade and tons of lipsticks already so i wasn't really excited to get another lip product but i mean i'm really satisfied with it I like lipsticks, but I do not need any more. So I kind of gave it a little bit of a bad review on Ipsy just so that they would say, oh, let's not send her any more lipsticks. But yeah, I do love this. So if you are looking for a lipstick, this is a go-to. This is really awesome. I also like the top, how it looks like a lipstick, but then, you know, it's a cap and you pop it off. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so that's it for this month's Ipsy bag. Let me know what you guys got in your Ipsy bag and if you liked it. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, bye.